Today we are reading another Sesame Street bedtime story featuring Jim Henson's Muppets. And we're going to read The King and the Fireman, written by Jeffrey Moss, illustrated by Mark Nadell. Once upon a time, in a palace in a faraway kingdom, there lived a king. Now the king and everybody in his kingdom were living quite happily until one day an awful thing happened. The king's palace caught fire. Oh my, yelled the king. My palace is on fire. Firemen, firemen, come quick. The firemen heard the king yelling and quickly ran to the rescue. Here I am, your majesty, cried the fireman, ready with my trusty hose. He arrived just in the nick of time, and he put out the fire. Well, the king was so grateful that he immediately issued a royal proclamation. I hereby proclaim that from now on, everyone in my kingdom will quit his or her her job and become a fireman. So all of the king's subjects quit their jobs and became firemen. Well, it wasn't very long before the king began to have problems. In fact, the very next morning, the king was playing with his royal blocks and he hurt his finger. Oh no, cried the king. I've cut my royal finger. Quick, somebody call the royal doctor. The royal doctor was summoned to the king's side, but she didn't look like a doctor. She was wearing a fireman's suit. I, I'd like to... The picture's up here. I was, I was confused. The picture's up here. I'd like to help you. She said, I used to be a doctor, but I fight fires now. Maybe if I blew my siren, your finger would feel better. And she pushed the siren button on her fire truck. Mm, I hope that helps, she said and left. Boy, oh boy, cried the king. I hurt my royal finger and there's no one to fix it. Only people blowing sirens. So that now my ears hurt too. Well, if that wasn't bad enough, the next day the king was waiting for his mail. And he had another problem. Where is my royal mail? Asked the king. I am expecting a very important royal letter. Where is the royal postman? Send for the royal postman immediately. So the royal postman was sent for, but he arrived wearing a fireman's uniform. Ah, uh, I'm not a postman anymore, he told the king. I'd love to help you, but you ordered everyone to be a fireman. So I'm a fireman now. But who's going to deliver my mail? wailed the king. Uh, I don't know. But here's the hose. Stay around. And he left. The king was very upset. I can't read a fire hose, he grumbled. I sure wish I had some royal mail to read. Well, if that wasn't enough, it was, wasn't long before the king had yet another problem. Wow, am I hungry, said the royal king. I'm in the mood for a royal bologna sandwich. Which is the royal, where is the royal cook? A royal cook? Bring me my lunch. So the royal cook was summoned. But when he appeared, he too was dressed as a fireman. Ah, uh, I used to be the royal cook, he said. But I'm a fireman now, because that's what you ordered. But I'm hungry, yelled the king. I want a bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm sorry, said the cook. Try eating this, and he handed the king his fireman's hat. 
Maybe with a, a little ketchup, it won't taste too bad. He left. Oh, and he left. He said, and he left. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, complained the king. What kind of kingdom is this? I'm hungry, but there's no one around but firemen who give me hats to eat. I have a feeling that there's something wrong around here. Well, the king sat and thought, and he realized that he had made a big mistake. So he made a new proclamation. I hereby proclaim that everybody should go back to his or her old job. And from now on, only firemen should be firemen. And everyone else should just do his or her own thing. And the doctor, the postman, the cook, and everybody else immediately took off their fireman's suit and started celebrating. Now that I'm a doctor again, I can fix your finger, exclaimed the doctor. Uh, and now I can deliver the royal mail right away, cried the postman. And here's a royal bologna sandwich you wanted, said the royal cook. And so the king had learned a very important lesson. It takes all kinds of people to make a world. And if everybody had the same job, it would be pretty hard to get things done. It would be pretty silly, too. Good night. I love you.